Hi everybody. Today we're going to sketch the pathway of blood through the heart. We're going to do it, start off really simply with just three eights. And we'll start here and we'll come around with our first eight. Then we'll change our color from blue to red. And we'll continue this eight around. And we'll go underneath the blue and complete our two eights. Then we'll switch to black and we'll add a couple of eights on each side. Then we'll add some arrowheads to indicate which way the blood is flowing in our path and now we'll start to label so basically this will be the right atrium the right ventricle left atrium and left ventricle and we'll add in the lungs and the body. And now we'll add in the major vessels. So this will represent the aorta, this will represent the vena cava, cranial and caudal, along with a zygous vein, cardiac vein, a few other things. This will represent the pulmonary trunk. And the blood as it goes from the lungs to the left atrium, we'll put in the pulmonary veins. So what you see here with our three eights is you have blood flowing from the lungs to the left atrium into the left ventricle, then from the aorta it goes around through the body, returns to the right atrium via the vena cava, and as I mentioned the azygous and a few other things, goes to the right ventricle, then from the pulmonary trunk, from the right ventricle goes into the pulmonary trunk, into pulmonary arteries, into the lungs for reoxygenated, and we're repeating this loop. Now a couple of other things we can add to this to get us to really think about the blood flow is where the valves exist. So between the right ventricle and pulmonary trunk would be the pulmonary valve. Between the left ventricle and aorta would be the aortic valve. And between the right atrium, right ventricle would be the rat, or the right atrioventricular valve, or tricuspid. And between the left atrium and left ventricle would be the lamb, or the left AV valve, mitral valve, or bicuspid. So basically, if you can kind of sketch these three eights, you can kind of visualize rather quickly how the blood is flowing through what chambers and valves, and through what um, great vessels as it goes around the heart.